welcome to the seventh episode of my tutorial series on the AVR framework. In this episode, I want to cover the map functionality of the palette. In order to, this, to do this, I'm going to create a map for the tutorial level that we have built in the previous episodes. So the first step is always enabling the map palette. So we go in our radio my, uh, button menu and we add an, another uh, palette to our uh, to our radio menu and we call it the palette button. And then we have to add a floor plan, which I'm going to call main or for main floor. And then we see that we also need a texture. So this is ideally going to be our floor plan. And to do this, I'm simply going to take a screenshot. I'm going to switch to the top view going to zoom in our level and then I'm going to make a simple high resolution screenshot. Obviously for your application you want a bit more beautiful texture because this is going to represent your floor plan or maybe have a custom floor plan made by, by your architecture but this will do for now. I'm just going to take a screenshot and I'm going to adjust that a bit. Now that I have taken the screenshot I can import it for that i'm going to make a new folder in our experience object uh, in our experience folder and i'm going to call that texture and i'm going to make a new folder in here i'm going to call that floor plan just to need, keep it nice and neat of course everybody can have their own folder structure and then i'm just going to import the floor plan which is going to be exactly this one. Perfect. So this image is very important that it has the right resolution. The palette at the moment needs a resolution of uh, 2160 by 1500, but uh, you can change the resolution. It just needs a little bit of requirements. So now if we go in our experience object again, which I still have open, I can drag and drop our, to our texture in there. We save and compile that. And now I'm going to change the perspective again just to have it more beautiful. And I'm going to switch to VR. So now here inside VR, you can see that our radio menu has one additional button, which is the menu, uh, which is a, a map. And we see that we have our main floor here, which contains our texture that we just imported. And, and took, but we can also see that we have no chance of teleporting anywhere because uh, the cross and the, the location indicator is uh, not moving anywhere. That is because there is no way for him to know where the 2D coordinates that I'm pointing on here is actually in the real world. So we need to show that to him now. So let's exit VR again. So to show him, how to translate the 2D coordinates of the floor plan to the 3D coordinates of the world. We need to have a floor plan measurement. So that is inside, they're located inside the blueprint and the navigation folder. And there we have a floor plan measurement. And this is basically the image of the, our floor plan that we want to have. We have to include ours, which was the tutorial floor plan plan tutorial perfect so this already has the right resolution of our picture and we have to place it over our world so it exactly mat uh, matches the dimensions that we have in our scene so there's a bit of fine tuning there involved but with a picture of the right dimensions, it doesn't take that long. So this will this will definitely suffice. It's not it's not perfect, but it'll definitely serve its purpose and and be almost correct. So I'm going to move that a bit down. I'm going to uh, cut off the visibility, and very important, I'm going to call them a floor main. So this knows that it's supposed to be on uh, towards the main floor. And now if you go inside VR again, 
Now here inside VR, if we open the maps again, we can see that he gets a position right if we rotate, but he doesn't get our cross right. That, uh, that is because he doesn't know where to actually teleport to. So for that, we have to use our teleport areas that we not, uh, don't only use for teleportation, but also to get around in the map itself. So let's uh, adjust that quickly. So to do that, we simply have to take our teleport areas one, and we have to assign it the floor plan, a floor name that we have. You can also tell it to be a universal floor, and that means it would work for every floor. But uh, now let's stick with his, his name for now. So we call it also main. So the teleport areas not only uh, serve as uh, proper teleportation li uh, limitations, it also defines uh, the uh, locations that we can teleport to on the map. Those are very important because we don't want to be stuck in obstacles or be teleporting inside walls. We only want the player to be teleporting where we actually tell him to. So now if we go inside VR again. So when we take it another look at VR, we can see that we have our map and the uh, crosshair is working. So if I now press on the map somewhere, I'm teleporting there very, very quickly, exactly where, where I want it to be. Um, the, uh, the, the limitations of the area also work fine. So if you see that if we, we point outside the teleport area, it only ha allows our cross to be somewhere that it's actually close to the teleport area. So that seems to be working just fine. So we can teleport back to the original location. And now uh, if we want to have multiple floors, let us adjust that uh, quickly. So to create the second floor, we basically just have to repeat the steps that we did for the first floor. So to do that, we'll first create a second floor that we want to place into. I'm going to resize it a bit. And of that, we need to also take a screenshot. I prepared that in advance, so I can go to text first floor plan and put in the screenshot that I have prepared, which is going to be this one. It looks exactly the same as the, the other one, just that it has a bit of different dimensions. And now we basically can uh, duplicate the teleport area from up here, which is what I'm going to do. Um, remember that for teleport areas, they need to be assigned the uh, the floor name that they are being associated with. So this we will call the basement and just see whether it's invisible. Perfect. So I'm going to make it invisible again. And the same works for the floor plan measurement. Remember the floor plan measurement um, works so the map knows where the dimension in real world are. So we make that visible as, as well. And I'm going to change the um, and the texture was the one that we have imported here, so it fits. And now we have to assign the dimensions of that to the one of the real world. So I'm going to quickly assign that so it works just fine. Of course, in, in your experience, you want to have them exactly aligned. I'm not going to, uh, I'm going to keep it like it is. It's going to be aligned enough. So it's, it's just going to be a bit off. But of course, in your experience, you want to make sure that um, this texture is completely aligned with your world. So now we can make it invisible. And we also have to assign it a floor name. So it'll be associated with that floor. Save current. And now we have to uh, simply adjust our experience object and add our texture and our floor in there. So I'll call uh, add another floor to the floor plans in the panel, call it basement, and also adjust our texture. Insert, uh, insert that there. And now we are ready to go. And we can look at that inside VR.
So now here in VR we see we not only have our first floor, then we also have our basement, which we can also teleport to. But that takes us down here, and we can also teleport around here, and this works just fine. We can switch between those two levels, sw fly up again, and that's exactly where we want it to be. Okay, so this is going to be this episode. I hope it became very clear on how to use the maps. I think it's a very easy and fast way to integrate maps into your system and I find it very efficient and it doesn't seem to be having a, a lot of issues. So I, I hope you're happy with this episode and I will see you in the next one.